Hey, Llama friends. Thank you for joining me in our science talk today. We're learning all about plants and the life cycle and science as part of our spring theme. And you are able to plant some seeds, it looks like, on the choice board. So we're going to go over um, what plants need to grow, what types of plants they are, and the life cycle of a plant. And then Miss Megan is going to make a video of me planting something in my home that I'm going to share with you. So first, before we get started, I want you to put your thinking caps on and think about what you already know about plants. You can tell Miss Megan or you can tell your families at home, what do you already know about plants? And then we'll get started. So first we are going to read a little story called All About Plants. What kind of plants do you see here on the front cover? I see some flowers and it looks like there's a vegetable here. Maybe it's a tomato. Tomato? Yeah. Why tomato? Because tomato is a type of plant. Plants grow from seeds. Tomato. After a seed is planted, a sprout will pop out of the soil. Seeds come in many shapes and sizes. So sometimes we see seeds that are really small like these over here, or sometimes they're really big like sunflower seeds. And when we put them in the, uh, the seed in the soil, a little sprout will start to come out. The stem will grow taller out of the ground and it will slowly grow into a mature plant. So when you look at a flower or a plant, this part is called the stem. You see it? Yeah. Underground, the roots of the plant are growing down in the soil. So when you put the seed in the soil, the roots start to grow down. You always have to put the seeds in the soil because that's one of the things that plants need to grow. Flower buds begin to grow from the stem out of the plant and bloom into a beautiful flower. So before we see flowers here, it's called a bud. And the bud opens up and forms into a flower. In the center of the flower, yeah, in the center of the flower are seeds, which new plants will grow from. So in the middle here of our sunflower, there are tiny little seeds. Plants need water, soil, and light to grow. The roots search for food and water in the soil. So like Miss Megan talked about earlier when we talked about spring, it's really important that these plants get rain because they need water to grow. Yeah. Yeah, they need water to grow. So if it doesn't rain a whole lot, then you can go outside with a, um, a watering can and you can pour water onto the plant to help it grow. The stems carry the water and food up to the rest of the plant. The leaves make food for the plant. They soak up the sunlight and change it into food that the plant needs. The veins in the leaves carry the food and water to the rest of the plant. So there's little veins in these leaves that carry all the food and water to the plant so that it can grow. There are some plants that we eat. I want you to take a minute and think of the plants that we eat. And then I will share the page. Yeah. So these are some plants. Yeah. That's right. So these are some plants that we eat. There are um, carrots and corn and broccoli and celery. And we eat different, um, the, the vegetables that we eat, we eat certain parts of the plant. So we're eating, when we eat broccoli, we're eating the flower part of the plant. When we're eating corn, we're eating the seeds when we're eating when we're eating carrots we're eating the root and when we're eating celery we're eating the stem um, I 
So plants can be flowers. They can be fruits like strawberries or tomatoes. Or they can be vegetables like carrots and radishes and broccoli. Whoa. Yeah. So in order for our plants to grow, they need a lot of sunlight and soil and water. So soil is another word for dirt. So plants need dirt. Uh, they, you need to put the seeds inside the dirt for them to grow. These are the different parts of the plant. So we have the flower. Remember the flower is a bud first and then it pops into a flower. It has little seeds in the middle. And then we have the leaves. And remember the leaves have veins inside that take the food and the water to the, to the rest of the plant so it can grow. And then we have the stem. And then we have the roots, the roots that are growing underground in the soil after you put the seed in and it starts to sprout. So this is our life cycle of a plant up here, if you can see it. So first we have the little seeds. And remember the seeds can be in all shapes and sizes. So we have our seeds and then we put the seeds in the soil and it starts to sprout. So we start to see a little bit of the plant growing. And then it turns into a mature plant where we start to see that stem come up out of the soil. And then it turns into a flower. So Miss Megan has a chart here. I'll leave this here so you can see it. So Miss Megan has this little chart. And I need your help filling it out and telling me the steps of the life, the plant life cycle. So first we have, what do you think? What do you think comes first? Do we have the seeds first? Or do we have the flower first? Oh, this. What do you think? Huh? The seeds, that's right. That is the first step in our life cycle. We have the seeds. And then, do we have a mature plant? Or does it start to sprout next? What do you think comes next? That's right, it starts to sprout. You see, we have the seeds and then it starts to sprout. And then what happens in our life cycle? Do we get our flower yet? Or do we just have the stem and the roots? What do you think? That's right, we have the mature plant. Uh-oh, Max. So we have the seeds and then it starts to sprout and then it turns into a mature plant. And then at the end of our cycle, we have a what, Max? What is that? A flower. A flower, that's right. That's our last step in the life cycle. We have seeds, then it starts to sprout. Then we have a mature plant and then there's a flower. Thank you for helping me fill out our chart, friends. So next, Miss Megan is going to make another video showing you how I am going to plant some seeds in my home. So stay tuned for the video and I will see you soon. Bye friends.